For over 50 years, the moon has been a silent witness to our ambitions, a place we once touched, then left behind. But now, a new generation is looking up, not with nostalgia, but with a bold vision for the future. We are going back not to repeat history, but to build on it. The Artemis program, named for Apollo's twin sister, marks a new era of exploration. This time, we're not just visiting, we're aiming to stay. Artemis is about building a sustainable presence on and around the moon, a crucial step toward sending humans to Mars. NASA leads, but this is a global effort with international partners and private companies joining forces. The Artemis program is proof of what we can achieve together, pushing the boundaries of science and human potential. Imagine standing at the moon's south pole where Artemis astronauts will search for water ice, a resource that could fuel our future in space. The moon is no longer just a destination, it's a gateway to the stars. Our next giant leap begins here. Artemis is fundamentally different from Apollo, it's built for our time. One of its most inspiring goals, landing the first woman and the first person of color on the moon. This isn't just symbolic, it's a statement that space is for everyone. Artemis is about sustainability, building infrastructure, learning to live off the land, and preparing for Mars. NASA is partnering with commercial companies like SpaceX and Blue Origin, creating a vibrant new space economy. This collaborative approach drives innovation and makes space more accessible than ever. Unlike Apollo's short visits, Artemis is a marathon, testing the technologies and strategies we'll need for Mars. The moon is our training ground, our celestial backyard. By establishing a permanent foothold, we're preparing for the challenges of deep space. Artemis is about discovery, diversity, and a shared human destiny. The journey to Mars starts with learning to thrive on the moon. To reach the moon, we need power. Enter NASA's Space Launch System, or SLS. The SLS is the most powerful rocket ever built, launching the Orion spacecraft beyond Earth's gravity. Orion is our deep space vehicle, designed to keep astronauts safe on their journey. Its heat shield protects the crew during fiery re-entry from lunar speeds. Orion consists of a crew module and the European-built service module, which provides power, water, and propulsion. This international partnership highlights Artemis as a global mission. The uncrewed Artemis I flight in 2022 proved the system works. Orion traveled farther than any human-rated spacecraft before. It orbited the moon and returned safely, paving the way for Artemis II, the first crewed mission. SLS and Orion are the backbone of Artemis, ready to carry a new generation of explorers. With these vehicles, we're not just going back, we're going farther. The journey is real and it's happening now. The countdown to humanity's return has begun. Imagine a space station orbiting the moon that's the Gateway. Unlike the ISS, Gateway's unique orbit brings it close to the lunar south pole, making it a perfect staging point for surface missions and future Mars journeys. Gateway will serve as a command center, science lab, and temporary home for astronauts. Crews will dock in Orion, prepare for lunar landings, and return to Gateway between missions. It's an international project. Europe, Japan, and Canada are building key modules and systems. Gateway is a hub for science, studying space weather and the effects of deep space on the human body. It's designed to grow, supporting more missions and expanding our reach. This outpost will enable longer, more complex lunar exploration than ever before. Gateway is more than a stopover, it's our first permanent foothold in deep space. The future of exploration starts in lunar orbit. Getting from lunar orbit to the surface is a challenge so NASA turned to commercial partners for human landing systems. SpaceX's Starship, a fully reusable lander, will carry Artemis III astronauts to the moon. Starship's spacious design is a leap from Apollo's cramped module, offering room for crew and cargo. Its reusability means lower costs and more missions. NASA is also supporting Blue Origin's Blue Moon Lander, built by a team of industry leaders. Blue Moon's design allows easy access to the surface and adds redundancy for safety. Having two landers means more options and reliability for future missions. This competition drives innovation and opens the moon to more science and exploration. Commercial landers are key to a sustainable lunar presence. The era of private spaceflight is here and it's transforming how we explore. The moon is open for business and for everyone. Artemis is a series of missions, each building on the last. Artemis I proved the hardware. Artemis II will send astronauts around the moon. Artemis III will land humans at the lunar south pole, including the first woman and person of color. Each mission tests new systems, expands our capabilities, and brings us closer to Mars. Future missions will build the gateway, deliver rovers, and establish a lunar base camp. 
The goal transformed the moon from a destination into a permanent hub for science and exploration. Every step prepares us for the next giant leap, sending humans to Mars. The Artemis program is humanity's blueprint for the future. The journey has begun. The moon is just the beginning.